Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, we have something pretty crazy. What I'm going to be showing you guys is you've read the title, how to actually increase FOV and get more field of view within Fortnite Chapter 2. Now, what we'll be showing in this video, it is in fact a resolution. This resolution basically just gives you more FOV. It's like a literal cheat, like this thing is super OP, you get such a competitive advantage. It's insane and the best part, it's not bannable. It's on Fortnite side, like Epic Games, they'll have to like, I don't know, somehow patch this, but I don't even think it's possible like this has been in the game for a while now no one has found out this resolution so i'll be leaking it and putting it in this video showing you guys how to use it all of that good stuff now if you guys go ahead to enjoy this video i do help out in any way and also just because like you've heard it here first i'm actually the first to cover this in a video the least you can do for me is drop a like slap that like button really to support the channel literally takes two seconds as well and it's the least to ask from you guys you can also get that extra mole subscribe post notifications turned on therefore you never miss an upload i'm gonna keep you guys updated on just all of this stuff i've got a ton of great videos coming out on that daily upload grind as well we're going hard right now but without further ado let's get straight into the video So hopping straight into this, as you can see, I am over on my desktop right now. You guys will also need to be on your PC, on your desktop. This won't work for PlayStation console. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. You guys are just, you really need to get off that console. Don't even buy a PS5. Just get straight on a PC. Trust me, it'll be the best thing you do. But the first thing we're going to have to do here is head over to our control panel. Our graphics card or displays control panel it isn't too hard. For NVIDIA, you just have to right click your um, desktop, it should say, NVIDIA control panel right here. That's if you do have an NVIDIA graphics card. You can also go down to like this little window search and also type in NVIDIA and it should come up like this. If you guys cannot actually see this and you know 110% that you are an NVIDIA user, so you have an NVIDIA graphics card, what you need to do is actually download the control panel because um for some reason it isn't on your PC for like whatever reason, but it's quite simple. You can actually find it in the Microsoft store. So if I type in store here, yeah, the Microsoft store, you will be able to download it from here or just even on like the website, you should get it easily. But for most of you guys, you will in fact see it. All you want to do is basically open it, head over to your control panel i'm get it open here is mine and now for you amd people i know you're about to comment right now what about for amd what about little intel you guys come on chill chill i'm gonna tell you now now for you guys you can actually i think mirror this quite well so basically everything i show you right here in my control panel in this nvidia control panel you can probably copy that and do it within your amd because i know amd has amd radeon settings which is basically your control panel i think like it shouldn't be too hard to mirror exactly what i'm doing here and just do that in your own control panel if that makes sense Boring. And if you can't do that, like for whatever reason, you can't create custom resolutions, then what you'll have to do is use CRU, which is an abbreviation for custom resolution utility. You've all heard of it. It's like an application which lets you create custom resolutions if for whatever reason you can't. I've made a video about that. Like I think the video was called how to use stretch resolution. Um, I'll link that down below, but that should help you with that if you can't do this for whatever reason. But now assuming you guys are all at the same position as me, we're all at the same point right now for you NVIDIA guys. The first thing you want to do is go to manage 3D settings and you will need to ensure that DSR factor factors are turned off so where it says dsr factors i think the abbreviation for this is dy oh it does say here dynamic super resolution okay now you want to turn this off so literally just if you have any of these boxes ticked you just have to untick them press ok and make sure you press apply after that you guys probably all have this off anyway but yeah make sure it's turned off otherwise this will not work and you can't create custom resolutions but now assuming you can create custom resolutions what you want to do is go to this display category change resolution you probably all know how to do this anyway go to customize create custom resolution and this is where you have to do all of the good stuff all the magic will take place right here and also this is now where we're going to show you the resolution and leak what is so OP so first of all horizontal pixels you need to keep this at 1920 and vertical lines this is what we need to change you want to change that to 8 10 just like that 810 that's what we want to change it to everything else can stay the same um for example your refresh rate you just want it on your actual monitor's refresh rate um and yeah kind of simple now you can press test it's gonna probably black on my screen here oh okay i've already got the resolution so it ain't gonna do that but you guys will it, like when you press test it's gonna black out your screen it'll show you what it looks like um basically just like preview what it looks like then press cancel right because um you want it to save but you don't actually select the resolution so if it tells you if you want to select the resolution just say okay it looks good but don't actually select it if that makes sense you'll see on your screen right but then you should get this screen you want to press ok and now your resolution should be here you should have a custom resolution created called 1920 by 810 now before you apply it before you actually put it on what you want to do is go all the way down to uh, adjust desktop size and position i'm um, let me just press no here okay adjust desktop size and position you want to go to scaling make sure your scaling is set to aspect ratio um perform scaling on your gpu i don't really think it matters if you don't need your display but um i just recommend you copy these settings here so you know it's 100 going to work gpu and also have this box ticked i guess you can try it with 
display. Let me know in the comments if it works with display. I can't even try it myself because I don't have a display scaler. But yeah, you want to have these exact settings. Everything else should just um, just make sure it looks the same as this. Kind of simple. And now once you've done that, finally, now you just want to enable the resolution. It's going to um, mess up my like recording a little bit. But we're going to press apply. Okay, my screen's completely blacked out. I'm going to now press yes. You guys, I don't even know if you guys can see that. But um, yeah, we're here. We're at this point. I've got black bars. For you guys, you can't see the full black bars. Wait, I think I can actually... Um, okay, I can do this. Uh, wait, let me unlock this. Okay, my screen kind of looks like this. Like on my end, that's exactly what I'm seeing. And that's also what you'll see when you enable this. But now I'm going to load up Fortnite. Hopefully this looks... um Isn't only client side and the recording picks us up. But we're going to load up Fortnite here. Sorry for my screen blacking out. I just uh, ran some as administrator. But yeah, it's kind of that simple. Uh, Fortnite is loading right now. But when I get into Fortnite, I'm going to show you that it does work. We're going to compare this to native resolution and it's going to be all good. All right, we are on Fortnite right now. Of course, we're only in like this little uh, lobby thing. But I think this actually looks the same on recording. Hopefully, anyway. If not, I'll just show like a comparison photo. But this should be all good. We're going to load up Fortnite right now. Also, I think you kind of got the idea, but you don't actually have to change this in your game user settings. So you don't have to actually um, go into your config and make the resolutions correspond or match. Like you don't have to do that. Like it really does not matter. As long as you have native resolution in your um, game user settings, you should be good. But bang, we're over in Fortnite right now. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it looks the same on recording. And um, the way I'm going to test this and the way I I did previously is actually wait, let me start the game here so it's a little bit um, more convenient for me in the future but I don't want a bunch of random boards everywhere but we're gonna place four walls like so four walls like this we're gonna stand back just enough to get these four walls in the frame so there we go we've got all four of these walls are just literally just about in the frame now what I'm gonna do is mess up the resolution so we're gonna just change something that'll mess it up so even just making any setting changes in here it's going to mess the resolution so I'm gonna press apply it's gonna bug my recording a little bit press yes okay now we're gonna resize this okay how am i doing this transform fit to screen bang what do we notice here guys we haven't got four walls in the picture anymore like they don't fit in we can fit about i think just about two and just about three if you add like both the halves but it's two and then two halves on each end if that makes sense like we can't fit it in it just doesn't work but if we go back here to make sure that this resolution is fully selected press apply it's gonna mess up my screen again like we can go in between the two bang we can see all four walls it's <laughs> that, that's how op it is and of course guys even like like building on this like it isn't bad it's not like laggy like i don't feel much impact lag with this either and if i'm gonna be honest if anything like i actually kind of feel the performance increase i like i don't know if it's just me but with this i do feel performance increase it doesn't look bad whatsoever and also when playing with this like you do in fact get used to it like it isn't really an issue like you'd think i don't know black bars it isn't gonna look too good but it like you get used to it i use this for maybe like 30 minutes on my own before recording i was just kind of having some fun with it and it really does help and again you know the competitive advantage is insane like you can see so much more especially if you're like in a box like how much of this box you can see it's absolutely absurd like it's insane but i don't know guys let me know in the comments what you think of this like do you think pros are gonna hop on this like i'm 100 percent the first to make a video on this so i think maybe you know other youtubers are gonna hop on this make videos all that good stuff like it really doesn't bother me as long as there's fair credit where it's due like it's completely fine and also fair credit where it's due i actually didn't find this method myself now you're probably thinking probably the exact same thing like who found this like where's it came from it really didn't come from me it came from a guy called Coopster. I'll link his channel down below. He found this on accident with a few of his friends. They were all chilling and just trying out random wacky resolutions. And they came across this, realized they gave you an FOV increase. And the first thing he did was message me and tell me to make a video on it. And again, you know, this is not bannable in any way, shape or form. So don't be worried about that. You guys will not get banned for using this. It will probably get patched sooner or later. So I guess um, make the use of it where you can. But I also don't know how this will get patched. Like I don't even know if it's um entirely possible for Fortnite to do that. Because they were really strict on like patching all the old resolutions everything that we used to use but this just has been around for a while now and yeah there's no change no patch nothing has ever happened to this so it'll be interesting to see what they do but with that all being said that is all i have for you guys in today's video again if i went to help you you did enjoy this video in any way shape or form the least you can do for me drop a like subscribe to the channel post notifications turned on really doesn't mean the world remember code fetch in the fauna item shop if you want to shout out for using my code simply put it in the item shop send proof in my discord link will be down below and you can get a shout out i'm going to do all youtube shout outs and I think tomorrow's video. It should be tomorrow's video. But I hope you guys have an amazing day. It's been your boy Fetch. And yeah, peace.